YTPC, how are you? Bagpiper coming at you from the back porch. Got a cup full of cold water. And my first and only Falcon gifted to me by Clint the Frozen Vacuum Blender. Stuff full of luxury navy flake from Peter Stokeby. Clint sent me this pipe a while ago and I just been so busy that I hadn't had time to clean it. Finally got it cleaned and then I just never got a chance to smoke it. Figure today would be the day. I don't have the little rocks that you're supposed to put in the bottom, the filter things. So I have a uh, pipe cleaner coiled up in there and I'm not sure if that's giving me the issues or uh, if I just packed it too tight for the way that the bowl is shaped. Having a little bit of trouble with it catching. Blame that on my ignorance to a falcon, though. But I'm coming at you today because my boy Justin Taylor, or Taterhead as Old Bird likes to call him, has hit and is over. 500 subs which is no surprise he's got a great channel <clears throat> he uh, has a lot of good content of you know his opinion on tobacco blends and he shows off his pipe purchases and stuff and uh He is doing his 500 sub giveaway, which is amazing. I have no doubt, sir, that you will hit a thousand very soon. Won't take you any time at all. So, Justin has asked us to show off our pipe collection. Justin's a really good guy. I really like his channel. We converse back and forth semi-regularly. Um, we've done a little bit of trading. We've done a little bit of gifting to each other. Um, he's just an all-around good dude, and I really uh, enjoy... interacting with Justin and uh, watching his channel and stuff so if you don't know who Justin Taylor is go check him out and uh, let's take a look at my pipe collection So this is a falcon that you just saw, and uh, that's because I shot the intro video first, or second, I guess. Uh, and that's loaded up to go, so I'll set that over to the side. <clears throat> Alright, so I've got the vast majority of my pipes set out. I still have a couple of cob mods and stuff floating around, and... Uh, 
some pipes from the some smaller pipes from Danny Shores estate that are packed up but I got most of them out so I'm trying to go through these quickly and chronologically as I can very first pipe I ever bought and this is what got me into pipe smoking um, actually I was really interested in getting a pipe smoking if you've watched any of my videos you know the background story it's one of those cheap Chinese pipes with a metal bowl it's got the one big hole and the three small ones in the bottom of it it's basically a weed pipe uh, and this is what I smoked until I bought my first briar and then I got my first briar and I didn't pay attention on uh, pipes from cigars when I bought it and it is a Barcena pocket pipe, pocket pot pipe. First pipe, first briar I ever bought. And then shortly after that, um, pipes by numbers and stuff, I got a hold of this uh, K. Woody Custom Grain Bulldog. And thus started my love affair with the Bulldogs. Uh, I love this thing, and I smoked it heavy. And then, let's see. The first pipe that I ever got from anybody was on the, uh, was gifted to me on the Pipes by Numbers. And, uh, it was this group. that unscrews, which is typical of all the root pipes. And this was given to me by uh, Smokey Mo, but I didn't know him as Smokey Mo, I knew him as Jimmy. And then we were talking, and I told him of my love of the Bulldogs, and he sent me two pipes. He sent me this Citation Bulldog with the huge bowl. And uh, I smoke Bulk and Sobrani out of this so much. Um, and then he also sent me the Willard Bent Billard that you saw in my uh, Versus video. And that was the first uh, pipe I ever got. Per first pipes. These two were the first pipes I ever got from anybody in the YTPC. Smokey Mo. <clears throat> Love these pipes. Um, then I bought two bulldogs I think this one is a yellow bowl and this one's a medico and they were both cracked they were both cracked <clears throat> uh, and repaired uh, I had to do a little bit of work on those I guess since we're talking about the Bulldogs, I'll go ahead and show the uh, one and only Peterson that I have, the Bulldog, that was sent to me, gifted to me by Scotty Piper. I love this pipe. Pretty sure he smoked Burley's in it. So the first time I smoked Virginia's, I kind of got this weird funky taste and I hated it. Uh, so I smoked Latakia's through it for a while. Then I gave it a good salt and alcohol bath. Now it smokes Virginia is like a champ. Um, this bull moose, it's a Briarworks bull moose. I got it in trade from uh, Unicorn Piper. Great pipe. Let's see. This, don't even know what I, I would assume it's a maybe a, a bull moose shape as well i'm not really sure but it has a triangle shank on it instead of a diamond beautiful pipe i got it from a bearded pipe smoker as a gift and along with that he sent this little uh sports stub <clears throat> these both smoke really great this one smokes latakia like a champ well, and actually it's about the same size as a pocket but it's a bigger bowl uh, let's see 
Bulldog, still on the Bulldogs. And then I got, I was gifted this one from Treetop Piper. It is a Calabrese Metamorphosis. And it accepts a nine millimeter. This thing smokes amazing and I love this pipe. <coughs> and then in the uh, Bulldog Rhodesian family is this custom built that was gifted to me from uh, Old Burge. And I use this exclusively for Penzance. Uh, it is my widest bowl. Um, actually, I could probably use this citation from Smoky Mo for Penzance too. But uh, it was the widest bowl. Great little chuchur. Smokes like a dream. And uh, that does it for my Bulldogs, except for the Joe Dog. Wasn't going to get to the Cobbs yet, but a guy on Facebook <clears throat> named Joe in one of the many groups that I'm in, as well as the Pipes by Numbers, posted I was looking for a corn dog. He said, I have something similar to that. He sent this to me, and it didn't have the ferrule on it. And John Keller saw my video or my picture on Instagram and said, I have a ferrule that will fit that. No pipe should be without one. And he gifted me the ferrule to make it complete. Love this thing. I smoked a bunch of uh, Hobbit's weed through this. So it's kind of a cherryish pipe now. Um... I guess since I just started on the cobs, we'll get to the cobs. My very first cob mod ever is a country gentleman, leather wrapped with a copper shank, regular bit, um, heavy because of the stem. And then I have a just a standard country gent that I smoke the crap out of. And then my little cutty, ants cutty. That I smoked the crap out of. Um, and this was a gift from Old Berg. It is the first cob that John Keller ever sold. Um, Hard to tell. I think this is, has a 45 shell on it. <clears throat> Great little uh, Virginia chuchu. And then uh, Mod Piper and I did a collab and made this metal ear system for me. Beautiful. What uh, made me finally start appreciating Virginia's. Uh, and then my prototype, Gentle Pony. Um, and I love this thing, and I've smoked the hell out of it, as you can tell. Even the uh, chamber is pretty dark in there. And then, uh, let's see. I wanted a Dagner forever, and uh, I didn't have one. And Standard Texan gifted me... A Dagner Poker second that he fixed the bottom they had drilled too far down and about the same time my Piper made one with the bamboo stem and I uh, fell in love with it so I bought it and then the Dagners are running their special and I think this was like 15 bucks so I got a Dagner with the actual acrylic bit <clears throat> and I use this for Frog Morton blends until I run out. Oh, cannot forget about this one. This was the very first cob I ever modded. And by modded, uh, I mean I put a little bit of pipe mud down in the bottom and I stained it and charred it and called it a mud. And then another cob that I have, the last cob that I have on the table, is from Robert DiPietro. It's this little Cavalier system. 
great smoker though. Um, I wish that was flat, but I just haven't gotten around to sanding it down. <clears throat> and then, uh, let's see. The very first pipe that my wife ever bought for me was the half bent brandy. And that little mark right there is what let me know that this was a picture of the half bent brandies on Chris Morgan's Bones page until he got a new set of them in. This was the picture one. And then she got me a par. This was for my birthday. And she got me a pot for our anniversary. And you can tell I smoke it a lot too. And then she got me <coughs> a lightning bulldog. Like a half bent, quarter bent bulldog. Uh, and this is the one that on his Instagram feed he did a video of shooting. And you could tell because of the little crack that ran, runs down there. This thing smokes Virginia's like a champ. And it usually sits in my uh, pipes by numbers pipe rest. Um, let's see. And then the first Briar Dagner that I ever got was this little, it's, uh, it's called a Goofy Barrel or something like that. I think it's like a paneled ants um, it just has their dagnerpipes.com logo on the bottom no other stamp so I don't remember what year this is from I got this in a trade with uh, this dead sexy piper and I don't think he's forgiven piper uh, great little pipe <clears throat> I like it if anybody had a dagner ants that they wanted to trade I would be down to trade though. Uh, as much as I love this pipe, I really, really want one of their answers and I just don't have the money to get one right now. Um, and since I got that one in a trade, I would be more willing to trade that one. My second Dagner Briar was a gift from Justin Taylor. And it was the Raw Dog. And uh, this thing smokes great. I love it. Mm, oh, I forgot a, a Bulldog or a Rhodesian. My one and only Meerschaum, like actual Meerschaum, is a Rhodesian made in Turkey from S. Kamali. Beautiful pipe. I love this pipe. It smokes great. One of the first ones, one of the first couple that I won on uh, Pipes and Numbers. And then this little... Real Briar was a recent gift from uh, Sue Dunhill and Danny Shore. And then this, I have never even actually smoked out of this, but this is a, I believe it is a Medico. And it is a Medico Casino, and this one has a clover on it, and I wanted it because it was a set. And uh, now I have to track down the other three. Hmm, let's see. I'm trying to, I was trying to stay in shapes. Didn't do a real good job of that. This is a Mike Jones Diamond Shank Dublin that I did a trade on. I made a uh, reverse Calvash True Dublin Cobb and uh, Actually, I made one for Standard Texan and posted a picture of it on Instagram and he hit me up saying that he really loved it and he wanted to do a trade and was there, was I, would I be interested in one of the pipes he had? And I said, yes, I wanted this one. So did a trade on that. <clears throat> Smokes really good. Has a super wide bolt at the top, but it does do the concave down to the, or the conical shape down to the bottom. So probably would be good for Virginia's. I've been smoking last days out because I can. Uh, Mod Piper, one of the first briars I ever, no, the first briar I ever got from him was this ants that he made with the Cumberland stem. Fell in love with it. Had to have it. 
smoke a lot of Kia's out of it, like a freight train. <clears throat> and then uh, in a trade with old Berg, I got my one and only OMS, the Devil Ants, with the uh, brass band on it. And I love the brass bands more than the silver ones, so. And this is a Virginia Chuchin weapon right here. Um, I have my C pipe. Uh, that I won in the first, I think it was the first giveaway I ever entered, and it was for, uh, Bryce Parker's 500 sub giveaway. Beautiful pipe. Smoke a lot of Kia's in it, because, you know, I'm a lot of Kia junkie. Love this pipe. Um, this is a Willard. adjust matic um, this came from Danny Shore, um, and I love it. Just this awesome little billiard, billiard, smokes great, it's got that short, almost nose warmer type feel to it. <coughs> uh, and then... To the pokers very first true poker i ever got briar that i ever got was uh standard texan did his maybe it was a hundred sub giveaway i don't remember it was one of the first giveaways he had done right around the time i did mine <clears throat> and uh i won it and he had another pipe up for it and uh i told him to keep it because he loved it so much and he'd done all the restoration work and stuff on it uh, and I could just tell talking to him, listen to him talk, watch him in the video, how much the pipe meant to him. So I told him I wanted him to keep it as a gift from me to him. Uh, and the whole reason that I was hoping to win his giveaway was so that he could keep that pipe. <clears throat> so Corey being the awesome guy that he is, uh, sent me another pipe in its place and it is a Briarworks Bambino poker. Love this thing. Smoked, um, every bit of... Pirate Cake, Quiet Nights, and something else that he sent to me in like a week through this thing, nonstop. Uh, I've smoked Old Iron Sides through this. It smokes great. I love this poker. That is my go-to Latakia poker. <clears throat> and then uh, I have this Stanwell brushed poker, cherrywood poker, whatever, um, that I got in a sale on Pipes by Numbers. And I was smoking Virginia's out of it, even though it takes a nine millimeter also. It's an okay pipe. I don't mind it. Uh, it's a little long, and it's a little, the, because of the length of it, it uh, offsets the ball and it doesn't want to sit unless there's something in it. Not my favorite poker, but it was my only Virginia poker until uh, my Piper made this one, and I saw it. I fell in love with it, and uh, y'all saw me open this the other day. And it is the Briar version of the Virginia Cobb that I got from them. <clears throat> so this will probably be my go-to Virginia poker. Smokes them beautifully. Um, then let's see, we'll go ahead and pull out these. These are still in the works. I had just haven't had time to get the uh, stain for them, but this is the barrel or poker. Uh, I'm gonna put a little slight bend in the stem. Once I get it done, I still need to sand the stem down. Left the plateau. Uh, the very first briar pipe that I ever made and it was a kit pipe so the drilling was already done <clears throat> don't worry it goes down in there pretty good so um but I can't wait to smoke this one and then uh I was trying to make an ants and ended up making a canted egg and just was not happy with it um 
the shape's all right. I mean, if that's what I was going for, it was still smoke. Uh, as much as there's a cant on here, though, the bowl goes straight down. It doesn't actually cant with the pipe. <clears throat> the stem that I wanted to put on it is now too big around. Well, actually, it's perfect over here, but it's a little off over here, so I would never sell this pipe. Uh, this will always be mine if I ever even smoke it. Uh, I was just so mad about it because I wanted it to be an ants. <clears throat> and then I made a compass style ants uh, but I might take a little piece of briar and attach it to here and then put the stem on just to uh, choke it a little bit so that the stem doesn't get as hot I think it would still look cool even if it still had just a little because it would only be a little tiny piece but I'm really happy with this pipe <clears throat> If I ever get the time to finish it, I'm going to stain it black, or I'm going to send it to Mod Piper. He's going to stain it black, uh, and then do his blast on it that he does with his bead <clears throat> blaster at work that pulls most of the stain back out so that it gets a nice two-tone grainy black. Uh, those are the three briars that I'm midway through taking me forever and then the last pipe that i have to show uh was the last last one gifted to me <clears throat> and uh it's from danny shore uh if you go and look at my mega yabo from danny shore video you'll see it in there um i have been wanting a freehand forever I finally got one thanks to the generosity of Danny Shore. He sent me a Boswell's. Look at that. With the twisted stem, the plateaued on top, that slight rustication. But it only does it on a little bit. Like just those little spots. <clears throat> this has a conical shape. Bowl. So I'll be smoking Virginias out of this. Um, just beautiful. Beautiful pipe. And it was made in 2013. So five years old. Look on to me. Is that not an awesome looking heavy? It's got a nice heft to it. Probably won't clench it very much. Beautiful pipe. Cannot wait to smoke this one. <clears throat> uh, and that's it. That's uh, my pipe collection for your VR. This is my VR of my pipe collection to Justin Taylor. Congratulations once again, sir, on the uh, 500 plus subs that you've got. Um, not surprised at all. And you'll just keep on climbing even more. Um, thanks for the opportunity and uh, can't wait to keep watching the rest of the videos you've got coming in. There's been some pretty nice pipe collections so far being shown. So... I appreciate the opportunity and uh, hope you enjoyed my collection. And uh, now it's time to go smoke this pipe and start the intro to this video. Alright. So until next time, y'all keep them full and rolling. Bagpiper out. <laughs>